how cryptocurrency works. Recently, all we hear about is Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum and more. So why is everyone talking about it and what do they actually mean? Let's find out together. We will give you answers what is cryptocurrency, why is everyone talking about it, which one we recommend you to invest in and what are its dark sides. So let's go back in time when there was no currency that people could use to trade money for goods. People would go up to each other and be as if, hey, I really like your horse, I will give you my cat for it. The issue back then was that many people were not okay with exchanging their things, so that is when currency came in. Coins were the first type of currency that existed. They were usually made up of precious materials, for example, British pound is called pound because one pound used to be one pound of silver. At this stage, people could use coins to exchange them for things they needed. Now we come to the next stage, which is paper money. Banks were established and the more convenient way of currency was paper money. Paper money has actual value even today because the government says it has value. When we think about it, money we use today is simply a piece of paper, but we still see it as valuable because the government says so. Currently, civilization is in stage of development. We now buy stuff online and we do not even see our money when we buy stuff. When we buy things online, we just see numbers on our screens that are either going up or down depending on the fact we are spending or receiving money. This is where cryptocurrency comes in. Cryptocurrency is 100% virtual. Cryptocurrency is actually the transfer of digital assets. The concept is similar to regular money transfer with coins or paper money. With cryptocurrency, there is one large database of all transactions made with cryptocurrency, instead of several banks keeping the records. This is called a ledger. So why is everyone going crazy over crypto? The first advantage is that it is decentralized, which means there are many copies of the ledger, so everyone has a copy of it. If you ever heard of Bitcoin mining, what it means is that someone is on their computer going through the spreadsheet or ledger, crunching the numbers or transactions. There are over 1 million miners in the world, and that is just for Bitcoin. There are many other cryptocurrencies. So why do people mine? The reason is that they earn Bitcoin as a compensation to the mining they are doing. Some of the benefits of cryptocurrency is that many people in the world have access to computers but not to banks since they require a lot of paperwork. Another benefit is that you do not need banks anymore because everything is on the ledger. You can make international payments without interest rates, transaction fees and other. Lastly, cryptocurrency is called crypto because they use cryptography. This is where we come to blockchain. Blockchain is not a type of cryptocurrency. It is a secure type of ledger or a way of organizing these spreadsheets with transaction information. Each block in blockchain contains transaction details. Since each block contains information about the transactions, if someone tries to change any of the information on the transaction, the block will no longer match other blocks' information in the blockchain, so we will know that something has been tampered with. When someone wanted to change something in the blockchain, that person would have to change information in half a million computers around the world. Now we come to the question, why is everyone going crazy over cryptocurrencies? The reason is, cryptocurrencies are a great way to invest and earn money in short term. There is an actual name for it, it is called mooning or going to the moon. Bitcoin is simply one of the cryptocurrencies out there. Ethereum processes transactions faster than Bitcoin. Cardano is considered to be technologically superior. And Litecoin has a newer algorithm. If you are thinking of investing, our advice is to invest in different cryptocurrencies and not just in one. And always invest the amount you are comfortable losing. And now we come to the dark side of crypto. One of the main problems is its volatility. 
Since it is a digital currency, no one knows how much it is worth, so the value changes constantly. Another bad side is that some of the major companies like Microsoft and Tesla are not certain about the Bitcoin. One day they accept it as payment, the other day they change their minds. Another big issue is environment pollution. Crypto is secure because of constant checks, and all of that requires constant computer usage and power, which altogether is not good for the environment. And lastly, since it is a digital currency, there is no real policing, so it could be a perfect currency for criminals. But according to data, cash transactions are still leading in that segment and are more used for funding the criminal activity. The reason is that even though crypto is digital, there is still a unique key that you get when you make transactions with crypto, and you can still be traced. Now we come to the odd things that come out of cryptocurrency. You've probably heard of NFT or non-fungible token. The way to explain it is that you can go to an art gallery and buy a piece of art. Well, with NFT, you have digital ownership of something while others just own copies of it. Most of them are actually JPEG images, and you probably heard of Dogecoin craze that happened recently. This coin was actually created as a joke, and people bought it as such. But its value exploded and people have become actual millionaires from buying Dogecoin. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you found it helpful. Share it with people close to you if they are having issue of understanding cryptocurrencies. If this video was enjoyable, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you in the next video.